Chloe Kalinowski is a force of nature. Sometimes she moves slow enough to catch a glimpse of pink behind her ear. Chloe uses a hearing aid. The coordinators of the Little Buttons program say the province lacks support for children like Chloe. When a deaf or hard of hearing child is born, parents aren't giving any pamphlets or referrals to the nonprofit that runs Little Buttons. So we've been learning sign as a family, and it's just nice to find another group of people interested in learning the same. There aren't very many role models for hard of hearing and deaf children either, but these women are filling that void. So I went to camp in every summer and they met a lot of different role, deaf role models who signed and were able to see the full language, the culture. She gives a lot of advice to the parents she supports. She mentions a grieving process once parents find out their child is deaf or hard of hearing. The anxiety, the fear. But it can get better. At the beginning of the class, the kids were not really signing or participating. And then once we started and as the weeks went by, the kids started signing a little bit more. And then the parents, the parents were feeling a little bit more confident. Now everyone plays in a tight circle, though some of the kids hop in and out, playing, then learning, then playing again. Still, the coordinators say they can't meet all the needs for education and connection. And this community is actually screaming for more resources, more materials, more networking, connections. It's, we, we're hungry, we're hungry for it. Until their calls for support are heard, this is the children's community. And when they're a little older, they'll be able to join other groups and make deeper connections than ever before. Bridget Yard, CBC News, Saskatoon.